The Minister of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, Professor Pierre Gomez, led a high-level team of officials comprising his permanent secretary, the heads of the Gambia College, Gambia Technical Training Institute, the Management Development Institute, and the National Accreditation and Quality Assurance Agency. Speaking to GRTS after a marathon presentation of the activities, the higher education minister sounded optimistic. We were able to uh, brief uh, uh, His Excellency the President regarding the uh, Farawa Banta campus. Uh, as you know, some weeks ago we were able to inaugurate Lot uh, 1. We also briefed him about that uh, following the laying of the foundation stone work, work has started. And God willing, next year again, uh, we all gather at uh, uh, Faraba to integrate uh, those uh, buildings. He also briefed the president on the continuation of works at the Faraba Banta University campus. We priority now shifting to building more faculties than villas for the vice chancellor and lecturers. We thought it wise to shelve it uh, for, for a while uh, and uh, replace it with uh, the School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences because from the ministry's perspective, the priority of all priorities is to provide uh, state-of-the-art uh, facilities and also medical laboratories for the School of Medicine and Allied Health Sciences and costing around 43 million uh, US dollars. The good news from Banjul here from the, uh, the presidency uh, and to the students is that uh, government working with uh, MRC Holland Foundation and Brighter Future will have the dormitories constructed, God willing, this year and very soon uh, will finalize the plans and uh, the, uh, the contracts and that will be done by MRC Holland Foundation. The Higher Education Minister also gave a detailed presentation of his plans for the technical and vocational training sector, disclosing that more funds will be provided for the existing centers across the country and stipends for students, a novelty he described as unprecedented in the history of Tibet education in the Gambia. We are going to have uh, uh, entrepreneurship and innovation hubs in most of these uh, Tibet centers that we are going to have. Uh, we are going to construct more facilities and demand. It is no longer going to be a Wacharasu affair. This is business. This is development and sustainable development for that matter. Therefore, we will get through our project, the World Bank project. We are going to support also these students in these Tibet centers for the first time. Equivalent of $400 uh, per student. So. It has never happened in the history of this country. So this is what we're going to do. This scheme, the minister added, will support young graduates from these Tibet centers with the funds for startups. On the ongoing transformation of other tertiary institutions, the minister disclosed that government has already approved transforming the Management Development Institute into a civil service college, and the Gambia College will become the Gambia's first public university of education. We're going to move the School of uh, Nursing, the School of Public Health from Gambia College and integrate them into the University of the Gambia School of Medicine and uh, Allied Health Sciences. And move the School of uh, uh, Agriculture, the Gambia College, into the UTG School of uh, Agriculture and Environmental Sciences. And then now the UTG School of Education will be moved to the new a university of Education at Gambia College and so on. These developments, Professor Gomez said, will ensure the comprehensive transformation of the higher education sector with emphasis on quality, innovation and modernization to meet the country's development aspirations. Momoru Jalo, GRTS News.